Lux travel to Europe just got a little bit easier. There's good news for those flying out of LAX, and the White House weighs in on the effects of the COVID vaccination mandate and holiday air travel. We'll get into all of that in just a minute, but first, I'm Brandon with the Adept Traveler, and this is Today in Travel for October 25th, 2021. If you're looking to upgrade your flight experience for your next vacation, there's some good news. The business class only airline, La Compagnie, an airline that has won the world's best award since 2019, is expanding their fall schedule. The airline just resumed flying in June of 2021 and has postponed some routes. But with the recent announcement that vaccinated foreigners can visit the United States starting in November, they are resuming and expanding routes between the U.S. and various international locations. New routes include Newark to Milan, Newark to Nice, and Newark to Tel Aviv with a stopover in Paris. Promotional rates for both the Paris and Tel Aviv routes start at $2,000 round trip. Here is some good news for those that travel out of Los Angeles International Airport. LAX is rolling out a trial reservation system for security checkpoints. Currently, this trial is only available to those flying United Airlines. The program is called LAX Fastlane. It will run for 90 days and will be free. Travelers wishing to use the program will need to reserve a 15-minute window up to 24 hours before their departure by using the Fast Lane website. This is similar to another pilot program we talked about last week being run out of Orlando International Airport by the security company Clear. Moving on, following the widespread speculation that the recent Southwest airline cancellations were the result of a sick out by employees to protest the upcoming vaccination mandates on government contractors, the White House and two major carriers have come out and said that the upcoming vaccination mandates will not cause disruptions for the holiday travel season. The deadline for government workers, which includes the TSA, or employers of government contractors such as Southwest and American Airlines is November 22nd and it falls around the busy Thanksgiving and end of year travel season. According to Reuters, the White House COVID-19 coordinator told reporters on Wednesday that vaccination requirements will not impact holiday travel. He explained, the requirements for federal workers and contractors will not cause disruption to government services that people depend on Agencies have the flexibility necessary to enforce the mandate without impacting critical operations. He went on to say, the point here is to get people vaccinated, not to punish them. So agencies will not be removing employees from federal service until after they've gone through a process of education and counseling. On Thursday, the CEO of Southwest Airline also asserted that the vaccination mandate will not disrupt holiday travel, and he reiterated that the company will not be firing any employee that doesn't get vaccinated. And on a recent earnings call, the CEO of American Airlines said he doesn't expect any employee to leave the company because of the mandate. If you have any questions about what we covered today or any travel questions at all, please ask in the comments or visit our website to get in touch with us. Today in Travel is brought to you by The Adept Traveler, a travel agency that specializes in accessible travel. Our belief is that everybody, from the novice to the expert, from the able-bodied to the disabled, deserve to travel and to travel well. Our goal is to help anybody to do so. If you'd like to stay updated on travel news, tips, tricks, and other insights, which will help you travel like an adept traveler, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, follow us on your social platform of choice. We are on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and TikTok. And of course, you can always visit our website at adept.travel. Until next time, travel well, my friends.